Welcome to our channel, where we explore the world of Odoo. Today I'll be showing you a quick guide on Odoo module structure. If you're looking to develop in Odoo, understanding this is one of the keys to successfully build modules. First, controllers directory. We use this for handling web requests. HTTP routes are defined here. If you have data that needs to be loaded when the module is installed, then data directory has got you covered. Demo directory is where you put codes and data for demonstration purpose. That is when you create database with demo option turned on. Put your user guide, remarks, or any document about your module in doc directory. To address language translation, put your files in i18n directory. Moving on, we have the models directory, where the core data structures and your module logics are defined. Need testing data? Tell Odoo to generate it from populate directory. All codes and templates that are related to generating reports are put in report directory. To define access permission, put the files in security directory. Housing all your front-end files such as JavaScript, CSS, image files, and others is the static directory. Also we have tests directory to contain test cases for your module. If you need to define miscellaneous functions which doesn't belong to any other directory, you can put it in tools directory. Then, we have views directory, where the magic happens for users. It's all about the UI, defined in XML. And last but not least, wizard directory is where we put our codes and template for wizard dialogues. And there you have it, the Oda module structure in a nutshell. Ready to build your own? The path is now clear. Happy coding! Thank you for watching. Like this video? Hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more Oda development insights. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss our tutorials.